word for for Ghana and people in Ghana. You see, if you look at generally the Christian faith in Ghana, you see that you see that there are there are more prophets than pastors. You see that there are more prophets than evangelists or even maybe apostles. Now, I did not do the counting. It was the Lord that revealed this to me. And I, I asked the Lord why. Because for something to happen, and many of them are very genuine, so we're not saying that uh, it's people who just like something and then just want to do it. You know, the way in school, they'll see somebody, because you pray, because you go to church, automatically you have become a pastor. Right? No, and it's not, it's not any of those things. Uh, the, Lord, the Lord introduced Ghana to me as the land of sight. Land of sight. Sight. The land where people see. People come and people see. And really, I would like for you to pay attention. It's not coincidental that everyone, please sit. Got it. It's not coincidental that the majority of people in this land uh, can walk in the prophetic office. It's not coincidental. And it's not magic. It's not people like it. It's because there is an agenda of God for this land. And we came here to speak to the nation. And it doesn't matter if you have five million people here or you have just five. You see, the concept of revival, huh? many people think revival is when we are filling up churches. No. Holy, holy. Ah. Uh, Revival eh, is when, if I want to, for example, set this entire township on fire, if I put 5,000 people here and start from here, the velocity of the burning will be restricted to buildings within this area. Is that correct? Now, if I take 5,000 forces and put them in one building, everywhere in this area and set them on fire at the same time. We will take over this. You, you will just see smoke the whole place because you have representatives in each and every crown. In each and every place. Ghana, the Lord has sent me to you specifically. And specifically because the country has taken a backside for too long. The Bible tells us of people who are called the sons of Isiaka. They are the ones who will deliberate where Israel will do anything part time. They are the ones who will say, uh, God wants us to fight this battle. They are the ones who will say, no, it's not a season of fighting. We're in the season of negotiations. Uh, it's not a season of negotiations. We're in the season of farming. So if anybody comes to look for our trouble, let them be. But this time, we're going to focus on farming. And we have left that, that, that duty to other nations. You have left that handle to other people. And we have begun to see prophets who are very skilled and very anointed. Very, very anointed. I don't take this lightly. Very anointed. But they are, they, their scope of oppression has been limited to the church and to the individual. So you see somebody who can tell you your history from when you have been born. And they'll tell you the house and the number of the houses that you have stayed in. Uh, but they will not say the same for the nation. And then the ones who now dare to say for the nation are now the ones who are now pointed at. And now they are the ones that uh, if something doesn't happen, we say, Brad Joanne said, this is going to happen. Uh, it's not. Not because he didn't see but because there are witnesses who are to arise 
have turned their heads to another place. The Lord has sent me to you, Ghana. Arise from your sleep. Arise from your sleep. And Christ will give you light. Now, he is not telling you light so that you can sign the torch anywhere. The Bible says that in him. So, your focus is still on him. But the arrangement and the places that you are supposed to go to, as a people, as a nation, is to stand in front of the wall and say, this is the agenda of God for this time. Habakkuk said, I will stand upon my watch. Those are the sons of this land enough of taking the backside you stand upon your watch and you will say what he will tell me to do I will record the visions I will make it plain so that anyone who sees it will run with it and if you take that scripture it's not only for people who read it's not only for human beings check it well uh, a vessel says that an herald will see it and run with it Another version says that a runner will see it and run with it. You know what that means? It means that when you receive this as a nation, as a people, what God wants to do, but, and it doesn't really mean for Ghana alone. Your sons must arise and say, Philippines, it's time for this revival. And this is where he's starting from. This is where he's going to. This is how it must happen. And then you tell other nations, the ones who need to equip themselves will equip. The ones who need to train people will train people. Enough for focusing on other things. You come together, you are we're arguing jollof. It's, it's not one is it's very temporal. It's very temporal. You stand upon your watch. You tell your sons and your daughters. It was because of you that your sons and daughters were born to prophesy. This land is the land of sights. Land of sights. So when you open your eyes, you see from all levels. You see for small. You see for old. You see for nations. You see for capitals. You see for various jurisdictions. You stand upon your watch. You stay upon your car. And you will hear the things that he will tell you. And then you will say it. You will then write the vision and say, this world, X, Y, Z, this is what the sovereign Lord says. This is what the 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 Lord says. In the, can you pray in the spirit, please? Can you pray in the spirit? The job of one is to see. The job of another is to train. The job of another is to lift. The job of another is to help. The job of another is to do the things that he wants you to do. Per time and per season. Those are the things that he has called us to you. And called us to do. Karo barande atai. Embro says Evra Discapa Equa Barande Keria de la Panas Evra Sufre de Acata Sado Peria Ke Banatos Eco Parana Masaya Raco Periana Masande Raco Peria de Catulia Eyes are about to open on site and online on site and online Your eyes are about to open your eyes they are about to open you are about to see strange things. Strange things, strange things. Kako parana masaya. Eko paria ke pariates. Eko parita sai. Rapo mele keba. Iru ato se kapaya. Sara kapane. Ephesians chapter 5. I read verse 13 to 18. It says, but everything exposed by the light becomes visible. And everything that is illuminated becomes a light. It says, wake, that is why it is said, wake up sleeper, rise from the dead. And Christ will shine on you. Be very careful then how you live, not as unwise, but as wise. Making the most of every opportunity. Because the days are evil. Therefore, do not be foolish, but understand what the Lord's will is. Do not get drunk in wine, which leads to debauchery. 
instead, be filled with the Spirit. Be filled with the Spirit. So our, our enablement and releasing the light which we will receive in our corners is by the enablement of the Spirit. Friends, that's why we pray in tongues. We don't pray in tongues because we just like it. It says that with stammering tongues, it will speak to His people. So when I stay on my seat, when I stand on my watch, when I hold the microphone, when I'm teaching, when I'm sleeping, I open my mouth, I release the fragrance of the Spirit. That's why we pray in the Spirit. Those are the things that we do. We stand on our watch and we see. We see by Christ because he's the one who will give us light. It is with this light that we will shine. The Lord gave me a revelation some time ago. You see, in Genesis chapter 1, because we did not have replicants of us at that time, God had to create light which we know as the sun. Now, today, if God is going to create any form of light else, he's not looking for the sun anymore because the sun has already been made. So when God says, in a region or in a place or in a group, let there be light, you know what he's saying? He's looking for men like me and you. Why? Because our gaze is on Jesus. The focus on Jesus. He, 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 our bodies have become his temple. Therefore, when the Bible says that in him was light, right? And that light became the life, the life that we have. It's not the life of men such that we can go to a place and that light will shine in darkness and darkness will not be able to comprehend it. So when we step into a region, whatever it is that you are, whether you are fountain, whether you are from Ghana or anywhere, right? When you step up Upon the scene, the light of God radiates to you such that when he's looking for people and then he says, let there be light, what you are saying is, I'm here, send me. There are things to do. There are places to go. This is what the Lord has sent me to tell you. This is the reason why I've come. I, I've come for songs, that's good. But this one I delivered is the, is the pressure, the pressure why he sent me here. To tell you to sound the trumpet in Zion, sound the trumpet in Ghana, because your time of revealing has come, your time for global exploits has come. So, if I were you in Ghana, I'm not looking at the local stage anymore, I'm looking to release the influence of God across different zones of the world. If I'm a painter, I'm painting to show the world. If I'm a doctor, I'm treating and discovering things for the world. Ghana is your time. Your souls must arise from this land. From this land. And take their rightful places. Your souls must be able to open their mouths and say, as regards this, as regards this subject, this is where the Lord wants us to go. This is what the Lord wants us to do. You are not prophets for prophet's sake. You are not prophets for your pockets. You are not prophets for your mouth. You are prophets because you stand in a place and reveal the counsel of God over any matter. Presidents and kings must come to this land and say, ah, ah, what's happening? And then they will say, uh, if you are looking for a solution to this, well, we know a young man who, who wears glasses. His name is Johannes. If you spend five minutes with him, uh, he will tell you what the heart of the Lord concerning a matter is. Or, uh, or, oh, we are looking for how to release something. And then we are saying, ah, uh, okay, it looks like we need to receive a sound. And then they say, there is a lady in a village somewhere. Her name is Felicia, or her name is Tisha. If you stand with her for two minutes, the sound of the Lord from a region, you are going to hear it from that place. This is why you were born. This is why you were made. This is why you were born. This is why you were made. Ghana, your time has come. Your season has come. Your season of revealing has come. It's time for you to stand upon the global stage. It's time for us to celebrate Ghanaians. It's time for us to begin to hear about you and hear about your inventions. Wherever you are, 
Lift up your two hands and pray in the spirit. <laughs> 